Hello everybody and welcome to a slightly windy version of Ed's boat. Uh, in the last episode I think I said we were going to do some trim and this sort of thing but you know what? The weather's not been too bad other than today. Uh, so I thought I'd get out on the boat, give it a good shake down and prepare for my journeys through the summer. So uh, cue the music. No great hurry today I've got all afternoon to just play boats which is what I'm doing but what's happened is I've had a bit of a leak nothing major a drop of oil off the engine which is no big deal it's an old engine you've got to sort of expect that sort of thing totally manageable I've had a leak out the gearbox as well which is okay but I need to either reduce it or stop it preferably um, I don't want to take the engine and the gearbox out we should be okay but uh, I have found something wrong with the gearbox which I've corrected and hopefully that'll stop the oil so uh, what I'm doing is I'm having a run down the canal just a couple of hours out on the boat uh, enjoying this beautifully cold and windy weather uh, and we'll see how much oil I lose over let's say a two hour journey and uh, well that'll make my mind up whether I've got to take the gearbox out or not so if I can manage it we'll leave it if not that gearbox has got to come out so fingers crossed Well, the other thing I wanted to do as well was uh, satisfy my curiosity a bit. I've been watching Country House Gents videos and he went down the Ribble Link, but he had to get towed by another boat because his boat wouldn't make six miles an hour. So I started thinking, how fast is my boat? So what I've done is I've downloaded an app onto my phone and I'm gonna do a speed check to see how fast my boat goes at normal cruising speed, normal for me that is, We'll see if we can get a top speed out of it as well. I suspect it's not going to be six miles an hour. I suspect it's not going to be more than four miles an hour, but we'll find out. Unfortunately, I can't show you the speed check because it's on my phone and I can't video and use that app at the same time, but uh, I'll keep you posted. So we're going to do a normal speed check first, and then we're going to do a top speed check, which is the engine flat out, which is something I never do, but I still don't think I'm going to be speeding, but We'll see. Well, there's also another speed you need to go at, which is tick over a preferably past moored boat. So there's a moored boat. How fast was I going past a moored boat on Tickover? Well, there you are. One mile per hour on Tickover past moored boats, which is what people like, which is what people want. And I must admit, when going past that moored boat there, it didn't move around, it didn't bash into the sides, you know, it didn't strain its mooring ropes. So, uh, yeah, one mile an hour would seem appropriate, and indeed, that's what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, that's quite reassuring. But what you really want to know is, what is the top speed of the boat? Well, there's a nice, suitable section further up. You really shouldn't speed past four miles an hour uh, on the canals. It's not good for the canal. The banks get washed away and stuff like that. The only reason I'm doing this is I'm pretty sure we're even top speed, I'm not gonna break four miles an hour. So uh, as soon as I hit more than four miles an hour, we'll shut the boat down. So we know we're in excess of four miles an hour. But I just don't think it's gonna be more than that. But there's a nice section coming up. Let's give it a go. Well, unfortunately I ran into a lot of ducks and there was young with them as well. So I decided to slow down. Then that was followed by oncoming traffic, which I had to pick my way past. Before I knew it, I was into the moorings at Hearts Hill and you can't go fast past those boats anyway. And then that's followed by a couple of blind bridges. And then just, you can see coming through that second bridge there, there's more boats moored there. So I decided it was best to just stop that speed attempt and try it again on the way back.
Well, I've stopped and let the engine cool down a bit. I need to have a look at that catch tray. The engine's been running for about an hour uh, at various speeds as well. I'll have a look at that catch tray and see if I've caught any oil, any drips off the gearbox. So, lift out the paint tray and the paint tray is perfectly dry, no drips. So we'll do that again when I get back to the marina, but so far it looks like I've cured that oil leak. Well, how about that for a coincidence? That chap just walking down there, he is a member of the Speed Record Club. And here's me doing boat top speed things. And he's involved in, or has been involved in, Donald Campbell's Bluebird Restoration Project. I don't think he's been an active member of it, but he has been involved in it. He's been telling me about the progress of it. So yeah, how about that? All on the Coventry Canal. There I am doing my speed checks, and a guy from the Speed Record Club comes by and starts chatting to me. How about that? Well, the weather's gone horrible it's gone really windy and we've got some rain that's why i've got my hat on it's gone very very cold but i've got a free bit of canal now let's uh wind her open and see how fast she'll go here we go and that's it flat out well that's the speed check over and done with it took a little while for it to get up to its top speed in fact quite a while but yeah it's all done would you like to hazard a guess but how fast it went? Well, only just it made... four miles an hour. I have to say, it's reassuring that it only does four miles an hour flat out, but a bit disappointed to be honest. I thought it was going to be about sort of 60, 70 miles an hour, but no, four miles an hour, that's all she's got in her. Definitely going to have to tune that. Anyway, Head back to the marina, the weather's awful now, the rain's getting a lot heavier. Hopefully I'll get back to the marina before it gets too heavy. Uh, and we'll do that uh, gearbox leak check. Uh, but yeah, that's been an interesting experiment for me really. I've quite enjoyed doing it. Well, the engine's still a little bit hot, but uh, I need to check it because the weather's really closing in now. So let's just check for those drips. I'm back in the marina. Boat's running great. Engine sounds brilliant. Um, just need to check for these leaks. So I'll just lift the tray out. And there we are. Absolutely nothing on that paint tray. No oil at all. That's a relief. That could have been quite expensive and time consuming and very heavy work. But uh, I'm pleased that I sorted the leak out. Now, what I did was I'll show you quickly. So what I've got is my gearbox engine and these bolts join the gearbox to the engine. Now, the two bolts at the bottom of the gearbox were loose. I've tightened those up and I had one slightly loose round the side there towards the bottom. And I've tightened those right up, you know, um, fairly firm as well and I'll be checking those regularly and that seems to have shut the oil leak up. Well that's it me finished for the day the weather's really closed in it's raining quite heavily now but I managed to fix the gearbox leak um, really pleased the way that went that could have gone horribly wrong but we'll keep a close eye on it and make sure that doesn't come back and a speed check as well which uh, proves that I'm cruising at about three miles an hour I've only got a top speed of four miles an hour so you know, the chances of me speeding, pretty slim, let's face it. Now, the canal is very, very shallow at the moment because we've not had a lot of rain and I was pushing a headwind as well. I don't think that would have made uh, any difference to the top speed, maybe how quickly I got there. But uh, it only just did four miles an hour. But uh, I think if the canal levels were up and that didn't have a headwind, it would have just made it a bit easier, but no faster anyway. So that's it for this episode in the next episode well i hope to be moving around a bit but in the meantime take care and i'll see you soon <laughs>